So Terry, what are you most looking forward to with the series? Well, I'm really excited about so many more Canadians than have read the book getting a chance to see these characters come to life on the screen. Terry Follis's first novel, The Best Laid Plans, took the literary world by storm. Now he's hoping to do the same on the small screen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The novel, a satirical look at federal politics, won the Stephen Leacock Award for Humour in 2008 and CBC's Canada Reads in 2011. The story is driven by main characters Daniel Addison, an earnest campaign manager, and the cantankerous Angus McClintock, an unlikely MP. In my novels, I try and place the least likely character in a situation and just see how it unfolds. So who's the least likely person to arrive on the floor of the House of Commons as an accidental MP? How about a bearded, wild-haired, mechanical engineering professor from Scotland? You yeah. are going to take over my class. Correct. And in return, I do what? Nothing. And I just think his style seems to connect with people. He's very honest, he's forthright, um, but he, there are deeper waters running there as well. So I just think he connects with people in a way that, uh, that your average member of parliament perhaps doesn't. So what do you think he would think of the scandals that we're seeing unfold, the real life political scandals, at, first off at Toronto City Hall? Well, I think he would be rolling his eyes at what's been going on here. Uh, he's, he seems to be congenitally honest and forthright and transparent and is unable to, uh, you know, to lower himself to subterfuge or any kind of uh, uh, dishonesty at all. So I think he would be not happy with what's going on here because he would just think it's, a, it's an outrage. Fallis writes from experience. He was a Liberal Party strategist, both federally and provincially. You would think today's real-life political drama on Parliament Hill and at Toronto City Hall would inspire more writing. Some have asked me why don't I write about the Senate or perhaps I'd like to write a novel about municipal politics, but uh, I'm afraid if I were to have written anything that approaches what's going on in real life, people would say, you know, that's not realistic. You can't just say that. You have to be have some... You know, it has to be reasonable or plausible or logical. And uh, what we've seen in the last little while, both uh, in Ottawa and here, seem to defy all, all comprehension. So I've, I've given up any thoughts of writing about the Senate or writing about municipal politics because I could not equal what fact has given us. How did you feel when you found out that this was going to be turned into something for the screen and, and that it could potentially reach more people? It was a real shock when you find that the novel that you wrote, the first novel you wrote, when you weren't even sure it would ever see the light of day, it was just an attempt at a novel to see whether I could, I could actually write one, to have it uh, go on to be made into a, a television series on CBC is uh, astonishing. I, I pinch myself every 20 minutes or so and uh, uh, it's quite surreal. The Best Laid Plans was originally self-published. Despite that, Fallis had no second thoughts about handing the story over to a television director and other writers. I was quite happy to turn it over to them completely. Uh, and and uh, they have done a, a tremendous job on it. I think people are really going to like it. So I was not one of those protective writers. <clears throat> Angus, you're a Canadian citizen. For 40 years. As for the actors playing the characters he created, uh, you know Ken Welsh as Angus McClintock and Jonas Chernick as Daniel Addison, they're just wonderful. And a tribute to their ability to bring these characters to life, my mental image of the characters that had been with me for so many years instantly changed into the mental image of Ken Welsh and Jonas Chernick of those first, of the major characters. And when I think of Angus now in my mind's eye, Ken Welsh comes to my, my mind. Uh, and that's, I think that's a tribute to how well they have brought these characters to life. So not only is your novel being made into a TV series, you are a character in the TV series. Well, so character is, is a that? strong term. I'm okay. kind of a stand-in. I don't have any, uh, any real lines. No speaking role. No, I don't think I'll pick up any uh, auditions as a result of my <laughs> cameo. But it was fun just to be part of the process.
While his books and the TV series take a humorous look at politics, Fallis hopes they can also provide some patriotic inspiration. I, these are my love letters to democracy, those first two novels, The, the Best Laid Plans and The High Road. Uh, I feel quite deeply about uh, our obligations as citizens, and it's written in a way as a way of trying to illuminate a different path that we might take in politics, and I, and I sort of put that in the guise of this character, Angus McClintock, who I think embodies all that I'd certainly like to see in a, a politician. And I think we need more people like Angus, and I hope one day he might stride off the pages of the novel and into, into real life.